pi, capital N, sigma squared, rho, beta 1, beta 0, those are all parameters. Okay? The statistics, x bar, s, n, p hat, s squared, r, b1, and b0 are all statistics. So there's going to be some problems um, in, in my book that I have my classes do that just get used to writing the letter. So getting used to figuring out, you usually you'll have a computer program that will say, you know, uh, P equals blank and P hat equals blank or, or mu equals blank and X bar equals blank, right? So you have to sort of get used to what do these letters actually represent and be able to sort of plug in a number into a computer program. So if it's going to do some advanced calculations for you, you have to be able to sort of know what letter goes with what. So here's a good example. A lot of times you'll read a, a, um, an article or something like this, and especially when we get to hypothesis tests, you'll see this all the time, where you have somebody has said something about populations, but then they're using sample data to figure out if that population guess is right. So if you look at this example, it says IQ tests are supposed to, be, to have a population mean of 100 and a population standard deviation of 15. But a random sample of 45 adults found that the sample mean was 97.7 and the sample standard deviation was 15.3. So if you see in this problem, we actually have five numbers that are listed in this paragraph. And what our goal is to see which, le which of these letters we've done goes with which number. And tell me if it's a sample statistic or it is a population parameter. All right, so it's just getting used to reading stuff and being able to sort of pick out the information you need. So notice it said that the IQ tests are supposed to have a population mean of 100 and a population standard deviation of 15. They did say population here, right? So this is not a sample mean. This is a guess about everybody that's ever taken an IQ test. So the population mean, well, that's the Greek letter mu. So if I was doing this in a computer program, I'd write mu equals 100. And that would be a parameter, right? Since it was a, it was a, a guess about the population. And the population standard deviation, we said, was the Greek letter sigma. So sigma is 15. And that's also a parameter. But now they said they took a random sample of 45 adults. So 45 adults, that's the number of people in your sample data, or the number, yeah, so this is... Uh, Notice that's going to be sample size, right? How many people or objects are in your, in your data is the, called the sample size or sample frequency. So that's the lowercase n. So lowercase n is going to be 45, and that was a statistic. The sample mean, what's the letter for sample mean? X bar. So x bar is 97.7, that's also a statistic, it came from sample data. And sample standard deviation, that's our, our letter S, so that was 15.3. And again, we're going to write statistic next to that just to get in the, just to know which one was sample data and which one was the population. Again, a lot of times in computer programs you'll see mu equals blank, sigma equals blank, uh, x bar equals blank, s equals blank, and you've got to be able to type, read something like this and be able to type it in to the computer program. Okay, so you just want to be kind of aware of what these letters are representing. Let's look at another one. A uh, very common one, voting, so they're trying to see who, who, how, what percentage of people are going to vote for a candidate, especially when the political elections come up, we're always looking at that. So they took a poll of 200 people and they found that 47.2% of people in the poll uh, voted for, plan on voting for the candidate. The actual votes on voting day, though, was 41.3%. So notice, first of all, we have two percentages. Remember, there's only really letters here that represent percentages is either p hat or pi or p. Um, notice again, population percentage proportion would be pi and sample proportion would be p hat. So it's just a matter of kind of thinking about what's the, the population and what's the sample. Well, notice a poll is not everybody, right? That's not all the, all the millions of people that vote. This is, this is just a poll of 200 people. That has to be a sample. That's not everybody in the whole voting population. 
So the 200 was really our sample size. So again, n equals 200. That's our small letter n. So that was a statistic. And that means that percentage that they calculated from that poll is really just a sample percentage. But remember, in the computer programs, if it says p hat equals, you can't leave it as a percentage. You have to convert it back to a proportion. So in our case, we're going to write 0 0.472. Again, all I'm doing is dividing by 100, move the decimal two places to the left. That's what I would type in the computer. And again, that's also a statistic. It came from sample data. Now, on the actual voting day, when millions of people voted, there was 41.3% voted for the candidate. So that's the actual population percentage. So that's our population proportion for voters. So you could actually use one of two letters. You could write it as pi equals 0 0.413, or you could write it as p equals 0 0.413. Either way, those would be a parameter estimate. We're trying to add that was the actual population percentage or population proportion. I tend to use uh, pi, the Greek letter pi, uh, but some, some, it depends on your stat teacher. Some stat teachers prefer p. I would say more stat teachers use p than pi. I'm kind of old school that way. Okay? So, this, you're going to be doing, the, some of my students are going to be doing some problems like this and just practicing learning their letters. So, it's really good to sort of start to kind of learn these letters. Uh, as we go through the class, I'll always be reviewing these letters as we need them, as we see a new formula or something like that. But it's a good, this is a good uh, introduction, a warm up to all the letters we see in stats. All right, so I hope this was helpful. This is Matt Show and Intro Stats, and I'll see you next time.